Welcome to the Week Excite event, Pathway to Advancing Heritage Interpretation and Presentation within the World Heritage System. Um, I'm your host, uh, Harry Shin from WIPIC, uh, currently the Head of Education and Networking Office of UNE uh, UNESCO WIPIC. So, uh, as you know, WIPIC is currently established UNESCO Category 2 Center, solely focused on the uh, World Heritage Interpretation and Presentation. So if you come from the um, a site, a government, a local government, you might aware that um, the need and the significance for the heritage interpretation is significantly increasing uh, recently. So that's why we're organizing this event today. So to discuss the heritage interpretation and also for what we do. So I would like to um, actually start the event today. Um, to with the, uh, the, welcome, uh, the opening remarks. So I would like to invite uh, Mr. Uh, Hong Chang Na, the Director General of the WIPIC. Mr. Hong, please, the floor is yours. UNESCO-Category-2-Center입니다. 다가오는 새로운 시대는 그간 이룩한 세계유산 보호 성과를 되돌아보고 확장되는 유산의 개념을 세계유산 제도 내에 반영할 수 있도록 요구하고 있습니다. 그러나 이를 뒷받침하고 있는 현실한 유산의 제도와 규범, 가이드라인은 아직 초기 단계에 머물러 있습니다. 때문에 세계적인 제도와 제도화와 역량 강화를 통해, 통해 포용적 유산 해석 체계를 마련하는 것은 이 자리에 계신 여러분과 제가 당면한 앞으로의 과제입니다. 오늘 우리는 앞으로 세계유산 제도 내에 해석과 설명의 바람직한 적용을 위한 전략을 정책적, 실무적, 학문적 관점으로 제안하고자 합니다. 그리고 이를 실현하기 위해 해석센터가 그가 추진해온 연구, 역량 강화, 정보화 사업들을 소개하고자 합니다. 이번 행사를 통해 나는 다양한 가치와 아이디어들이 세계유산의 가치를 보다 넓은 관점에서 이해하고 확장하는 데큰 도움이 되길 바랍니다. 참석해 주신 여러분 다시 한번 환영합니다. 감사합니다. Thank you, Mr. Hong, for opening the event. Now I would like to uh, invite a welcome address from our Administrator of the Cultural Heritage Administration of the Republic of Korea, Mr. Choi Eun Chung. Thank you very much. The Republic of Korea is the first time of the UNESCO Seguyusan Jaisan Solving Seminar Center of the Republic of Korea. I would like to welcome you to the Seminar. I am the Republic of Korea of the Republic of Korea. 한국 정부는 인류 공동의 자산인 세계유산을 효과적으로 보호하기 위해 유네스코 정신에 부합하는 다양한 사업들을 지원해오고 있습니다. 특히 세계유산을 둘러싼 좀더 다양한 가치를 발굴하고 인식하기 위해 한국 정부의 제안으로 지난해 유네스코 카타고리 이 기관인 세계유산 국제 해석 설명센터가 공식적으로 설립되었습니다. 이 세미나는 그간 센터가 추진해온 사업들을 공유하고 유산 보존에 있어서 해석의 중요성을 심도 있게 논의하는 자리가 될 것입니다. 현재 협약을 비롯한 세계유산 제도 내에서 유산 해석의 내용들이 상세하게 반영되어 있지는 않습니다. 오늘 기존 연설을 하시는 조세킹 크롬 선임 기사께서도 말씀을 해주시겠지만 이 세미나에서 포용적 유산 해석과 설명이 세계유산 정책에 어떻게 반영될 수 있는지 발전적인 논의가 있었으면 좋겠습니다. 세계유산 협약의 새로운 반세기는 유산의 물리적 보존뿐만 아니라 유산이 지닌 정신적 가치까지도 깊이 성찰해야 되는 시기입니다. 이를 바탕으로 인류는 기후변화와 지속가능한 개발을 비롯한 미래의 이슈에 대한 힘을 합쳐 적극적으로 대응해야 합니다. 유산 해석은 한마디로 하면 소통, 참여, 
경험을 통한 의미 형성의 과정이라고 합니다. 여러분들이 참여하신 이번 세미나를 통해 세계유산의 해석과 보호가 인류의 지속가능 발전에 기여할 수 있기를 간절히 소망합니다. 이번 행사에 참여해주신 국제 전문가, 협력 기관 그리고 청중들께 진심으로 감사드립니다. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for your welcoming words. Last but not least, we have the director of the World Heritage Center, Mr. Lazar El Gasomo, uh, for the congratulatory remarks. Um, sorry, uh, uh, thank you so much, uh, Lazar. That you, I know that you have been supporting the activities of UNESCO Category Two centers, and you um, have inspired us for the um, uh, cross-sectoral collaboration. So your presence here is a, a big uh, encouragement for us. Thank you. Some of which I'm sure 
uh, will be shared today uh, in this side event. So as, as we all gathered uh, today, it is crucial to recognize that there remains uh, a critical gap in comprehensive policy documents principles, I think this is something we have been discussing, and guidelines in addressing the vital issues of heritage interpretation and presentation. And we are thankful uh, of the key role that uh, we think can play in bridging these gaps and providing the best possible guidance to our state parties and uh, heritage practitioners in all regions with the support of our advisory bodies. And I think I really thank uh, IUCN uh, to uh, uh, Tim Batman and uh, also uh, Ecom to uh, uh, joking uh, to be here because we, we really need uh, them and also e-commerce. I see e-commerce at the back there. They're absolutely very important. So I think the three advisory bodies can really help in this issue and we really need to give them the place to be able to, uh, to, uh, to, to do it. So before I continue, I see uh, Marilo uh, Lavinier has uh, is in the room in the back, but you need to join us here in the in, in, in the front, please. Yes, and uh, it would be really greatly uh, appreciated because the, the director general of e-commerce is there, so I want her to be here uh, uh, with us. So today's event uh, is a step in a, a fruitful process of fostering the active participation and meaningful engagement of member state specialized agencies, experts, and communities in the discussion around the values of world heritage and how they can be communicated faithfully, truthfully, and in the most accessible manner possible. Uh, today's side event also seeks to establish a collaborative framework among international experts and institutions, fostering participation and solidarity uh, initiatives that are really essential for the safeguarding of our shared heritage. The event uh, is really an opportunity to highlight the direction and the role that interpretation must play in, uh, in the World Heritage System, but also offer valuable insights into the roles and involvement of UNESCO, the advisory uh, bodies of the committee, and the Category 2 Center under the auspices of, uh, of UNESCO. So, in a way, and to, uh, to, to say that, you know, uh, together, and, and, and then like we always say, and I was telling it to some of the, the, the young people, if you go back to, to the uh, the, 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 the logo of the, 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 the World Heritage Convention is really the logo that shows together. So uh, together we can build a collective vision for the future of World Heritage interpretation and presentation grounded in the principle uh, of inclusivity, diversity, and sustainability. As we engage in meaningful conversation today, uh, I just want to remind a couple of uh, issues. Let us first remember the profound impact that our decisions can have on preserving the cultural and natural resources, the treasures of our world. Together we can chart a pathway that not only advances heritage interpretation and presentation, but also inspires the next generation to become steward of our heritage and our world heritage. To conclude, I really once again wish to express my gratitude to uh, all of you in this room, uh, the speakers uh, who will continue after me, but also everyone who has organized uh, uh, this uh, side event uh, and who have made it uh, possible. Uh, let us seize this opportunity to learn from one another, share our experiences, and most importantly, commit to continue working together. Commit to preserve and celebrate the rich tapestry of cultures and ecosystem that make up our shared world heritage. 
Uh, you were saying that uh, uh, we are uh, in the, the 50th anniversary, but we are uh, engaged ourselves in the next uh, the next 50 already. We are already thinking about the next uh, 50 years, and it is now that we have to think about the next 50 years. And I think uh, the WIPIC has its role and its place. And the State Party of the Republic of Korea really uh, has a real role to play in this. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Lanza, for sharing your thoughts and visions in heritage interpretation and also your belief in the um, power of networking of the Category 2 centers. Thank you so much. It means a lot for us. Um, uh, and now I want to uh, let you know that our ambassador and the uh, permanent delegate of uh, the Republic of Korea to UNESCO, uh, Her Excellency Ms. Park Sang-mi, is here with us. Thank you so much for your presence.